Greetings ladies and gentlemen, EQA Nostalgia here and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the changes that have occurred in the MMORPG genre over the years which I like to refer to as shortcuts. Now there are pros and cons to these shortcuts and there's several different shortcuts that have been implemented over the years but I'm just going to start with the looking for group feature first. Okay so let's look at the pros of the looking for group system. Now what I mean by looking for group obviously is where you register for a group and you, you get invited by someone or now it's all pretty much automated. Nobody has to go in and look for you. It just kind of matches people up. But when it was first implemented, there had to be people that added you to the group. So it was at least managed a little bit. Now it just throws people into the mix. But nevertheless, the pros to this is that it's quick and it's convenient and you're not standing around shouting for a group. Another good thing about it is that you could go out and farm and do your own thing and you wouldn't have to worry about standing in town and shouting or anything like that. You could just go do your own thing. And that was really nice, especially once the community started to dwindle a bit on EQOA. People could go out and do their own thing. They wouldn't have to stand around forever waiting for a group. But there's an opposite side to that. All of a sudden the towns became a lot more empty. It was always nice to walk into a city or, or a major town and see people standing around and talking and you could go into town and socialize and it became like a social hub where you mingled with people you got to know people you talked to people a little bit maybe before you went into the group and it was really nice you know there's just something about that that was really awesome and as soon as looking for a group got implemented the town started to just kinda it started to just go away I mean, in Darver Manor, you had people standing around in their 20s looking for a bandit camp, you know. And in Freeport, you had people standing around probably around level 10 or, or lower looking to go to Crocs or Mad Men or Nasher camp. Something to that effect. Uh, and it went up throughout the towns, you know. Different levels would be in different towns. And it was really unique and nice. And, and I have fond memories of that. I, I used to really enjoy that. It was like a social hub. But all that shit just went away. <laughs> pretty much as soon as LFG was implemented everybody was now free to go wherever the hell they wanted and they could you know they can get a group they didn't have to shout anymore but you know man I just I really don't like that because MMORPGs are supposed to be a social experience it's not just about playing the game and leveling up that's a big part of it but when you take away from the social aspects in name of in the name of convenience I don't know I just don't vibe with that and another con in my opinion is that when you add a looking for group system and it just randomly throws people together you don't get to know anybody really and those people can be assholes and it doesn't really matter because you're never gonna see them again they're just gonna leave and that comes down to communities being much larger like World of Warcraft now so that's another part of it but if you can just look for another group and you'll never see those people again what where's the incentive to be nice to one another when you add anonymity to something I mean you can just by looking at comments on the internet you can see how nasty anonymity can be and it, and it really can bring out the worst in people so the next thing I want to talk about is the auction system and the way that that has pros and cons to it as well now auction halls and auction houses they're very nice because they're convenient you can just pull up a list and everything you could possibly want is right there you can see what people are asking you can get a better idea for what the for the prices and what you should put up for prices you don't have to really do too much research on you know what you should put your wares up for it's not really a guessing game anymore you don't have to shout to ask what it's going for you can just put it up and try to beat the prices by maybe a few gold or, or whatever the given currency is so essentially that comes down to convenience all of these really come down to convenience as the pro and the cons to them come down to loss of interaction and community engagement because as soon as you added the auction hall no longer were people standing around shouting for their wares and, and intermingling uh, there was a, a brief period where people used to go to the Hollis tunnel to sell their wares <laughs> I remember that and in the original EverQuest you had the East Common Lands Tunnel where people would go to sell their wares and it was a very nice social hub and then all of a sudden that's gone and you go out to those tunnels and there's nobody there anymore and it's it's kind of depressing in a way because it takes away a part of the community it's it's something that people remember really fondly 
But then when they think about it, they're like, well, you know, I don't think I would give up the auction hall to go back to that because it was a pain in the ass. So there's pros and cons to that as well, but it really comes down to community in my mind anyways. All right, so teleportation and being able to get around the world quickly. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of rope things together here. Teleportation and mounts and flying mounts and getting around rapidly throughout the world. The pro to that, again, convenience. You can get there quickly. You don't have to screw around. You don't have to worry about mobs coming after you. You can just fly overhead without any troubles, or you can just teleport there. I mean, I can't tell you how many times in EQA I was running, and my invisibility popped, and I ended up getting killed, and I went into debt. And it was very frustrating. But when you take that away, and no longer do people have to run around, the first thing that happens is your world gets smaller. Your world doesn't feel as big and grand anymore, and then it becomes less dangerous. So the sense of adventure is gone. The world has just been shrunk. It is no longer a dangerous place in the sense of adventure, just out the window. So for me, I think that the cons to that far outweigh the pros, and I really don't like the fast travel bullshit that's been implemented in games. Now, mounts, one of the pros that I forgot to mention is I really like the way mounts look. It gives you a way to customize your character even further, like you can get all sorts of different mounts that look really cool, and that's awesome to be able to do that. But at the same time, the old school side of me really likes Spirit of the Wolf. You know, I used to get donations for giving people Spirit of the Wolf, and, and it's just really nice. You know, people used to pay my wizard to teleport them, and my druid to teleport them. You know, uh, Call of the Hero, or, or Koth as we called it in EQOA, was nice because you could pull people right to you and that made your class more valuable people wanted your class around because you could do that so now all of a sudden your class really isn't worth as much anymore because all that stuff is in the game anyway so there are a lot of pros and cons to that system but me personally I prefer the old school way as opposed to all this fast travel stuff like I said okay so I think the last one I want to talk about is the instance dungeon being able to just go into a dungeon that's just for you and your group and the pros to that are that no one can come in and steal your shit you don't have to worry about that and you know that's pretty much it you don't have to worry about anybody else coming in and stealing your stuff and that's nice because I can't even tell you how many times people got mad and started training in dungeons because someone came along and stole their camp or stole their mob and it would really cause people to get upset. But the con to that is now, all of a sudden, the world, once again, it feels smaller. And it doesn't, instances don't really feel like they're part of the world to me. Because you just, it, usually you get into a looking for group system, you queue up, and you register, and you just go, and then you're there. You typically don't have to run out there anymore. That's another thing, that the fast travel, that harkens back to fast travel. You don't have to go there anymore. I don't even remember in World of Warcraft when you had to run to those locations. And you could summon people there with like the summoning stone. I can't remember the exact name of it. But you could summon people to you. But for the most part, I ran out there and I knew where things were. And I got to know the world better. And I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but my wife started playing WoW with me, I don't know, probably about a year or two ago. And when she got into it, she didn't know where any of the dungeons were, so... She just got teleported into dungeons through the looking for group system, and she couldn't connect those dungeons with the world. Like, she didn't know where she was. So if she was to go out and just explore and see a dungeon and the entrance to it, she wouldn't know that she had been in there and what dungeon that was. There was no way for her to identify with that, and that really sucks. And it just, you know, it's, it's a big con for me. So I, I prefer wide open dungeons where you just go into them and anybody can go into them. No instances at all you know I, it might take a little bit longer to get that item you want and there might be people getting in your way but I think it's better okay so to summarize basically what we have here is convenience overtaking community and the world as a whole <laughs> the most important aspects in in my mind for an MMORPG is the community and having a lot of community interaction and I think when the devs first started making these games they wanted people to mingle in towns and taverns and I think I read this in one of the EverQuest Island Adventures guides that the taverns are a place for players to go and get to know one another and, and meet up 
and that's why they had the vendors in there that sell drinks and, and they sell food. They sold food and stuff like that. Because I think the devs had it in their mind that this was a hub where everybody needs to meet. So we want to funnel people into these areas and create an authentic feeling like we're adventurers all hanging out in a tavern. And you see parodies of that and stuff on YouTube, you know, the tavern and, and the adventurer. But that's really what they wanted to do. And that's kind of been torn down now. The, the taverns don't matter anymore. They're just kind of there. And the world has effectively been shrunken. It no longer feels authentic. And it doesn't really feel like an epic adventure anymore. It feels more like just another video game. You're just playing a video game and it doesn't feel like an epic adventure. Like you stepped into a, a, an alternate reality. Which is something that I think is extremely important for MMORPGs. So, shortcuts in my opinion, and keep in mind I'm very biased because I'm old school, have really done a lot of damage to the MMORPG genre. Now, I can't point my fingers at the devs directly and say, it's your fault, you, you ruined your own lands. I can't say that because I seem to remember quite a few people asking for those things. And what I think it really comes down to is you need to be careful what you wish for. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you take the time to leave a like and help my small channel to grow. If you are new here, I ask that you please subscribe. I thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.